and welcome to another Bedtime Books with Miss Livingston. The story I'm going to read today is called Too Many Carrots. It's by Katie Hudson. Let's get started. These are the inside cover pages. It says to do, eat carrots, plant carrots, collect carrots, eat carrots. Rabbit loved carrots. He collected them wherever he went. Rabbit was proud of his collection and he burrowed it away in his cozy hole. But Rabbit had a problem, a big problem. Look at all those carrots and he has them all stuffed into his little house. He couldn't sleep. His cozy hole was too crowded to live in. Look at all of those carrots. How was he ever going to be able to live in that? I need a place to sleep, Rabbit told Tortoise. You could share my house, Tortoise offered. It looks cozy and snug, Rabbit said. Maybe it's a little too snug for two, suggested Tortoise. Not at all, said Rabbit. Here they are sharing the tortoise's shell. Looks a little squished if you're asking me. Uh oh, oh dear, ouch, ah, crash. Oh dear, well, Perhaps we can stay in Bird's Nest, said Rabbit. My nest is quite small, said Bird. I'm sure we'll all fit, said Rabbit. Rabbit hauled his carrots to the top of the tree. Whoa, groaned Tortoise as the, and the bird as the branch wobbled and swayed. So here they are trying to get into the bird's nest. And too many people, too many animals are in there. And snapped. Crash. I'm so sorry, bird. Now three of us don't have a place to sleep, said Rabbit. You can sleep in my house, offered Squirrel. Oh, thank you, Squirrel. How kind of you, said Rabbit. Here they are following. And here's Squirrel offering for them to sleep in their house, in her house. I don't think any more carrots will fit, Rabbit, said Squirrel. Oh, just a few, Rabbit replied. Uh-oh, whimpered Tortoise, Bird, and Squirrel. Crack! Crash! Oh man, Squirrel's house is too full of carrots. Now four of us don't have anywhere to sleep, grumbled Squirrel. You can sleep in my house, called Beaver. It has plenty of space. Great, I can bring even more carrots, Rabbit said with a smile. But with all your carrots, we can't fit inside, said Beaver. Just then, the rain started. Ugh, tortoise shivered, bird whimpered, and squirrel squeaked. Sweet, here's Beaver's house. And Beaver heard a terrible rumble as his house collapsed. Oh no, my house, yelled Beaver. Oh no, my carrots, cried Rabbit. Oh man, so many carrots. Ah! Here they are all getting pushed down the river with all the water and rain. Crash! The friends groaned as they swept up onto the riverbank. Wonder if they'll find a home to sleep in. Rabbit felt 
terrible. All his friends were cold, tired, and homeless, and it was all his fault. Even worse, Rabbit still had all of his carrots and his house. That's when he realized there was only one thing to do. What do you think Rabbit is going to do? Take a guess. Here's what he decided to do. Share everything with his friends. After all, carrots weren't for collecting. They were for sharing. Looks like they had a carrot party. Sharing made everything better. The end. Thanks for joining today. Bye guys.